<sighs> oh, that nearly went all over us. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought I would jump on a trend that probably isn't trendy anymore and probably people aren't interested in it anymore but I just fancied it. So today I'm going to be mixing all my paint together. Now plenty of content creators have mixed lots of other stuff together including makeup, bath bombs, nail polish, paint and slime for some reason. But what I own a lot of is paint, specifically acrylic paint. I'm pretty sure all the paints that I'm going to be mixing today are acrylic based are pretty close to being acrylic based. There's no like oil paint or watercolor or anything. And place your bets down in the comments right now on what colour this final concoction is going to be. And no cheating, no skipping ahead. If I was putting any money on it, I would think it's going to go brown. If it doesn't go brown, I'd be very, very surprised. Because I know colour theory, and you mix a shitload of colours up together, it goes brown. Hopefully it's a nice brown. And I'm going to be scientifically measuring these paints with a very scientific implement, also known as a spoon. And I'm going to be decantering these paints into a very magical receptacle, also known just as a plastic jug. And this should be fun. I think this is going to take us a very long time, surprisingly. We'll soon find out. Okay, so I think I'll start off with the System 3 acrylic paints because... I have quite a lot of these. I think this is the majority of my paint collection. I think we'll go brand by brand. So we'll do the System 3 first and then move on to the ones that I've got the most of next. And none of these are duplicate colours either. They might be very similar colours, but they're all different. And I'll have to count after because I don't know how many paints I've got. <sighs> okay, this feels right. And I'm not going to be naming every single colour I put in here or anything like that or going through them all because I'll just be, it'll just take us forever. But I am starting off with a copper imit. I'm not sure what imit means. There's a couple of them that say imit. You're the first one up, you should feel honoured. And then I'm just gonna put some on the spoon like that. I think that'll be enough. It looks a little bit like a poo. Another however many more to go. Also, some people might think that this is a waste of paint and you would be 100% right. But I've always been interested when I see other people mixing whatever it is that they're mixing. And it's actually quite a fun process. I've only mixed 10 so far and it's looking a little bit like this. But even the spoon starts to look interesting. It's really nice actually, it's a nice process, but it is very wasteful. However, I will decanter this paint that I get into a pot and reuse it, even if it is brown. So it's not 100% wasteful, even on it still is. I've just found a duplicate, Process Black. I've already used Process Black. I'll put that away. That's the problem I have. I end up buying paint, forgetting that I already have that color and then I just end up having like three or four of the same colored paints. I think some of the paints are definitely a bit past their prime. This is far too thick. It should not be this thick. I'm just worried that the paint tube's gonna like explode all over us. And I don't want that to happen. Come on, cadmium red, you can do this. Also the temptation just to mix whatever's in this jug now. It's absolutely killing us. This paint definitely doesn't wanna come out. I think that's all you're gonna give us. Did I use copper? I used copper, that's another double. No, I think this is a different coloured copper because this is copper hue, whereas that's copper imit. But they're both numbered 230. No, I think they're the same. I think that's a duplicate. Good job I caught that, otherwise this experiment would be just completely ruined, wouldn't it? Okay, the final System 3 paint in titanium white. 
I have a feeling this paint's gone off. Yeah, it's looking a little bit, a little bit chunky in there. I really need to start throwing stuff away. Look how thick that is. That paint should not be that thick. Okay, so I think that's the bulk of the paint in here, from the one brand anyway. I don't know how many I've put in. I'm assuming I'm counting in post. I hope so anyway. But here's a little close-up of what it's looking like at the minute inside this jug, looking pretty crazy. I really just want to mix it now, but I'm going to wait, even though I really, really don't want to. <laughs> okay, so I think the next lot of paint that I have the most of is the Arteza Paw Paints that I reviewed a little while back. And this will be quite interesting because this is an acrylic paw paint. So it should, in theory, affect the texture of this final paint. I'm not sure whether it'll change the color that much. And I've dropped one. <laughs> so let's start adding these to the mix. Oh yeah, they should definitely change the texture of this. This is like water. I forgot how runny these are. The thing is, I'm loving the colours in here so far, and I just really don't want it to turn brown. I hope if it does turn brown, this brown is like a really, really sexy brown. Okay, so that's all the Arteza paints done, all them paw paints, and it's definitely gonna change what this paint is like. It just looks so good. Look at that, don't I look great through a paint jug? I'm not gonna drink it, that's stupid. Okay, so now I'm moving on to paint brands that I don't have as much of, and just miscellaneous paints. Like for example, I've got this brown paint, Chroma Art Students Acrylic A2. And I don't even think I bought this paint. I think someone gave it to us or I stole it, but I definitely didn't buy it. We've also got some Unicorn Spit, which is an acrylic stain. It says gel, but I'm pretty sure it's acrylic based. Got some gold poster paint. Oh wait, I've got another Arteza paint, I need to put that in. We've also got the Culture Hustle portion pack of acrylics, and these are really good paints. I'm kind of sad about putting them in, but I will anyway. We've also got the blackest paint in the world, and another version of the blackest paint in the world, 2.0 and 3.0, which I'm assuming is going to turn this incredibly dark. A couple of gold and silver deco paints, a beta test of the whitest paint in the world. I did have three of these, but I've used two up now. And then just other miscellaneous random paints, mainly from when I did the unofficial official acrylic paint test, finding out what was the best acrylic paint in the world, in my opinion. Don't know whether people agreed with us or not. Don't really care. So we'll add these in, as well as the Arteza one that I completely missed off. Fun fact, I think I've had this paint for about 10 years. It's still perfectly fine. Right, I'm not far from over. I've just got a few paints left and I am shocked at how much paint is in here. I was just gonna use like a little cup. I'm so glad I went for a scientific plastic jug. I'm currently at about 500 milliliters. That's half a liter of paint. That's a lot of paint. Is that half a liter? A thousand milliliters is a liter. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. On to the last hurdle. <laughs> This paint's almost out. There's a tiny bit left in and I want to get it all out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I think that's done. And we're on to the final paint, a purple paint. We started off with copper, we're ending with purple. I don't know how many paints this is. I can imagine it's quite a lot. I think it'll be close to 100. There we go. Look at all of that paint. I just want to kind of dip the lens in. I won't because I'll ruin my camera. But it just looks so cool. Look at all of that. 
That's crazy. That's over half a litre of paint. It just looks so cool. I absolutely love it. I just want to keep it this way. I really don't want to mix it. Okay, it's the moment of truth to mix this paint and to see what colour it's going to be. Oh, I'm nervous. This is, this is, this is tense. Yeah, I definitely think it's brown. At first I thought it was going to go kind of like a greyish green colour, but then the brown just came through. Yep, pretty brown. I would say it's kind of like a chocolate brown. I think it's got kind of like a reddish hue to it. I think there's a little bit of red in there coming through, but it's it's 100% brown. But we'll swatch it, we'll see. You never know, once it's on paper, it might not look brown. The consistency, it's not thick, but it's also not really runny either. It's just... Like in the middle, it's like a regular paint, even though I added all of those paw paints. Ah, oh, yeah, that's definitely brown. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just brown. Let me compare it to this Burnt Umber by System 3. I think this is going to be a very similar colour. Oh no, it's a little bit more rich. Mine doesn't even look like a nice brown. Mine's a greyish brown. Like, you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but the System 3 is a warmer brown brown, whereas my brown kind of looks anemic. That's what I'm going to call it, anemic brown. Kind of like an ashy brown. Okay, that one's got some flecks of different colours in because I've scraped the side. I'm going to label it just so I know what colour it is. There we go, two pots of very special anemic brown paint. And this will actually be going on sale in stores all around the world for 50 quid a pot. No, it won't because it will get returned. <laughs> So there we go, that was me mixing all of my acrylic paint together. And who'd have thought it would have gone brown? I did, and you did, and everyone did. Everyone knew it was gonna go brown. But to be fair, I've had quite a lot of fun doing it. I've really enjoyed the process. And just going through all my paints and realizing that I need to throw a few of my paints out because they're definitely a bit past it. A few of those are either dried up are just empty. I've been trying to get paint out of empty tubes. But hopefully you have enjoyed this little experiment. This little video that went out of fashion on YouTube a good couple of years ago. I think people beat it into the ground, but here I am. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.